I've been waiting for this last book to be out, like, forever. And a spellbinding end to the Harry Potter saga as the books hit Singapore bookshelves. It was just as much of a manic scramble for Harry Potter fans in Singapore. Let's take a look. Over a thousand fans queued up overnight to get their hands on the last book of the Harry Potter series. I arrived here at 7 a.m. and she arrived here about 6 a.m. Yeah, because she had school for 24 hours. And for Singapore, 7.01 a.m. was the witching hour. The release time for the books had been carefully coordinated throughout the world to maximize suspense and sales. And it wasn't just the bookshops having a frantic morning. The mailman was also out in full force before sunrise, rushing the much-anticipated books to customers who pre-ordered. Uh, the books uh, arrived into Singapore Post uh, yesterday and were delivered to our 10 delivery bases. Uh, this morning, we have about 160 of our management and staff, uh, together with about 300 of our postmen and about 150 of our couriers out uh, delivering the books, uh, starting from 701. I've been waiting for this last book to be out, like, forever. And for some, having the final book of the saga in their hands was just too emotional. I started reading Harry Potter when I was a child, and it's like a part of my childhood. And when I got this final book, it's like a part of my childhood is like gone forever. The first moment I read the page, it's like I'm being um, transported to another dimension, and I just love it. The Harry Potter series have sold 325 million copies in 64 languages and the first five films in the franchise have collected around 4 billion US dollars around the world. So how does Harry Potter end? Well, I'm not about to spoil it for you, but for me, it's definitely a sad ending because it marks the end of a series I've been following for 10 years now. A series that transcended cultural barriers, linking millions of people across the globe in the world of magic.